All right, so we finally got our estimate built out. It looks pretty darn good. We see labor shows as an independent line item and the materials fall under the all materials header and we don't have to worry about those individual line items. If we scroll down, we get all the internal information that's not shown to the customer like the cost. Now, something we'd probably like to do next is send this estimate to a customer so they can sign off on it. If we'd like John Doe to sign, we're gonna click on this required signers button, choose add and mark John Doe. We can also have a team member like ourselves sign the document as well if we'd like to have it double signed. For now, we're just gonna send this out to John Doe. We're gonna get this warning about requesting signatures. I'm gonna go ahead and send it, but you might wanna read the warning. As soon as we click this button, the email is sent out. So this is what the customer will see when you've sent them an email to sign. It looks pretty nice, pretty fancy. We're gonna go ahead and click on review document. It's gonna bring it up for us in a perfect PDF look. We can zoom in on this. If we have any question, we can click on here. And finally, we're ready to sign, so we're gonna click sign. We have to type in our name exactly as it's shown. And we're going to agree and sign. Once the document has been completed, they can save it with this download button right here. As for you on your side, this is what you'll see. Once they've signed, you'll get an email saying, hey, congratulations, your customer is signed. And when we go into the estimate, you'll see signed locked in right here. Now, once the customer's signed, the estimate's locked in and it can't be changed. So make sure it all looks good and proper before you send it out. Congratulations, we've now got a signed document. You know what that means. It's time to head back to our board, go to the sales board and move John Doe to signed contract. Now in our next video, we're gonna go over what we might wanna do if we're using JobNimbus Financials to send out our materials and also how to get ourselves scheduled and ready to go for production.